What is going on guys? This is Jay Craft coming at you again with another small questions, big answers. And those of you who are first time here, basically what we do is we take a question from the internet that I wanted to make an answer for, but I'll tell you, typing out that answer would have just been a little bit too much. So what I did was I went ahead and decided I would start a video series answering some of these questions and then also taking questions directly from you. If you have a question that you want answered by an e-commerce expert, feel free to drop it in the comments below and we'll make sure that we get to it uh, eventually. Uh, we got a, quite a few of them coming in, but we will definitely take the time to get them all. Uh, so this week's question comes to us from Charles Ferreira over in the eBay thrifters community. Uh, he asked, will you let a no eBay history buyer purchase your $350 item? And this is a great question. There's actually a lot of depth to this question. And his basic concern for those of you who are a little unfamiliar as to what the issue might be is that if you're selling a very expensive item, you generally want to sell it to somebody who's a little bit more seasoned of a buyer. You want to look at their account. You want to see that they've been on the platform for a while. They have, you know, maybe a couple hundred feedback and you're not really running a risk of being scammed. And what types of scams are we talking about? We're talking about people saying that they never got the item, uh, people trying to return back a different item. There's a whole number of things that can happen. So first and foremost, I would ask yourself, how risky is the category that you are working within? Is this a category that generally has issues with fraud? So we're talking about things like Nike shoes, uh, Beats by Dre, uh, and then believe it or not, there's some issues with precious metals as well. If you're working within a high volatility category, certainly be more careful. And we're going to talk about tools here at the end to, to try and combat that. Uh, on top of that, when we look at the, uh, the feedback accounts uh, that some of these buyers have, we really want to make sure too, if it's a low volume buyer, maybe they bought 10 or 20 items in the past, we actually do a little bit of research depending on the value of the item. Now, if somebody is brand new to eBay and they spend $70 on your item and you're their first purchase ever, it's your job to be a great ambassador to them here on eBay. I actually have a thank you and welcome to eBay message that I send out for anyone that purchases an item that has a zero to two, maybe zero to three feedback, I'll send them this thank you message. So you, you want to try and assume the best of people, but there are scumbags out there. This is something that we've all had to deal with. And it's just, you know, unfortunately part of doing business online, anyone at any point can make a brand new account and cause a little bit of chaos. Nothing's really stopping them. So beyond looking at high risk categories and taking a moment to investigate the account, what else can you do? Well, the other day I sold a video game bundle for $900 and I went to somebody that had 23 feedback and it was really concerning to me to send out this $900 game bundle to somebody with such low feedback. I looked at their account. I could tell that they'd been a member for about five years, but they'd only really bought about five or six items over the last year. Made me very, very worried. This is certainly within the range of, uh, you know, of unacceptable tolerances for me. So what did I do? I messaged the buyer and I said, Hey, Given the nature of this item, I would like to get on the phone with you before I ship this item out. If this is going to be an issue for you, I will be happy to cancel and refund out your purchase. If this is all right with you, may I use the number that's on file for you now? And promptly got a message back maybe five minutes later saying, hey, here's my name. Here's my number. Go ahead and call me. I'm available right now. Picked up the phone, gave him a call. Everything sounded fine. And I, and I asked him too, what was your interest in this item? What you drew you to my listing opposed to another listing? What other stuff do you have in your collection? You know, I wanted to know that this was somebody who understood what they were getting, that they were familiar with the category, familiar with the brand. They, they knew what was going on with this and it wasn't simply snagging an expensive item off the internet and, uh, you know, kind of taking it out of circulation and for the for the raw profit of it, just to kind of scam somebody. So after everything checked out, I packed the bad boy up, sent it out the next day. I got great feedback in about five days. So yeah, sometimes you just gotta slow down and reach out to these people and try and talk with them. Also, don't be afraid to lose 300, 400 or $500 just because you are afraid to reach out to them because you're gonna lose it one way or the other if you don't do your own effort to make sure that you're safeguarding your inventory, safeguarding your store. So as you can see why, that's why we needed a whole video to kind of explain some of the nuances within uh, dealing with new buyers on eBay. And again, 
If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'd appreciate it. And those of you who don't know, we do a live show every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on YouTube where you can ask your questions directly to me. Uh, it's completely free. Yeah, we'd love to have you. And uh, if you know anyone else that needs any assistance, make sure you check out the links below for some discounted shipping. Yeah, you heard me right. You can get cheaper shipping. And then also we have some links to be able to join our Facebook group so you can get round the clock help from all the experts within our page. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you again next week.